This week on Sport Fishing, we're back out of Emeryville, fishing up here in Northern Cal. Right now we're outside the Farallon Islands. We're looking for ling cod. And it looks like we got one going right here. We're fishing with the tiger fish. Color. There's a fish right there. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. We'll be fishing the bottom here, outside the Farallon Islands aboard the tiger fish. We'll be fishing artificials, live bait, trying to catch lean cod like this. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Dan the Man Hernandez and the Fairlawn Islands, baby. <laughs> oh, good one. Here's another nice, big, beautiful link caught he caught here in the tiger fish. Caught that one on jig, right? Swim bait? Uh, swim bait. Beautiful fish. Okay. All right, let's take a little break from the action and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. Basically rock fishing, you know, and it doesn't matter if you're fishing along the coast or off at the island, it's the same technique. Now what I'm going to be talking to you about is about shallow water rock fishing, that 100 to 250 feet of water. For the deeper rock fishing, it's basically the same, just going to be using bigger sinkers. Now for this type of fishing in that shallower water, you can get by with a low profile reel like this, 400 series, have either 50 or 65 pound spectra as your main line, and you don't need a lot of leader on top of it. Don't use fluorocarbon but you can just use regular mono, like 30 pound mono on top. Normally about the length of your rod is all you need. You wanna have as much spectra as you can so you fill every little nibble when you're down fishing that deep on the rockfish. A nice rod like this works out really nice, either a medium action or a medium heavy action for that bottom fishing. Works out nice and this California rod does that fine. Now, if you're going to concentrate on getting your limits of rockfish, use two B-52 bucktails and a double dropper loop rig. Place them at least two feet apart, and depending on your depth, you're going to be using anywhere from 8-ounce to 16-ounce sinker. If you're in that shallower water, 8 ounces will work good. If you get around 300 feet, you're going to want 12 ounces, and if you get over 300 feet, Better be using 16 ounces, space these far enough apart so if you hook a big fish on one, it doesn't cover the other bucktail. Get two big fish while you're down there. 
And when you get bit, don't wind up right away because you want to catch two fish at a time. You don't want to go down that deep just to bring up one fish. Now the other thing you can do too is use a magic metal jig. Just bounce it off the bottom in that shallower water about 100 feet. You can use a four and a half ounce model will work out good. Hit the rock, swim it back a little bit, let it flutter. The lean cod, the rockfish will eat it. Works out really nice. And if you get in that deeper water, two to 300 feet, then you're gonna need a 10 ounce model. Same thing, in that deeper water, I really like the glow in the dark colors. Seem to work out best for me. And again, hit the bottom, swim it back about three, four cranks, stop it, let it flutter down. And the lean cod and the rockfish will hit it either as it's starting away or when it flutters back down for it. When you get bit, you're gonna fill it instantly with that spectra line, crank on it, set the hook on the fish, and then just bring it up. The other jig you can use too, if you strictly want to target lean cod, go ahead and put on a six ounce B52 bucktail with the large double A grub on there. White grub seems to work out best for me. Sometimes I try the red one too, but I catch way more fish on the white grub. Just bounce this off the rocks. Works fine up to 150 to 300 feet of water. We'll just let it flutter in the current down there on the bottom. Lean cod, the big reds, they really like this kind of lure. Well, this is the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Let some line out. Let some line out. Turn around, turn around. Part of the island, Dan Fernandez. <laughs> We're out here sport fishing with Dan Hernandez on the tiger fish. Out here at the Farallon Islands. When we fish the Bay Area, we go to fishemeryville.com. Telling you heard it on sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez out here on the tiger fish. What are you doing today? We're catching fish. Uh, Fishing for Link Cod out by the Farallon with Dan Hernandez. Big, beautiful link cod caught here in the tiger fish. Got that one on here, right? Uh, swim it. Beautiful fish. Grab your weight. Look at that. All right. What's your name? I'm Frank. Frank. Yeah. Frank just got this beautiful link dive. We can wear the tiger fish. And we're out here, out of Emeryville, outside the Fairlawn Islands. Nice, big, beautiful fish. Let's take a little break from the action here with tiger fish and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching. This week in the galley, we're in Long Beach, California, San Pedro Fish Market. Standing next to me is Chef Frank. 
And what do you have for us today, Chef? So we're gonna make some rock cod. Good. We're gonna make some rock cod a la plancha. Uh, I seasoned it with our signature seasoning. And then kind of like a black in, but not really. You're gonna lay it and you always wanna push it away from you so the oil doesn't splash on you. And so after I put it down, I'm just gonna throw a dome on it. Okay. I kind of want to speed up the cooking a little bit. So I top the fish because as the moisture comes out of the filet, it's going to have a little bit of a steam effect. Really help keep that fish nice and moist. So I'm going to lift this guy off. We're just about there. It's already starting to flake a little bit. That spice has let us get a nice crispy sear over the top. Pulled our fish off. It's nice and medium, so it's a little give in the center. Get a little squeeze. All that fat and juice comes up. It's exactly where we want to be with this piece of fish. We got our fish cooked now, and now we're going to finish it up. I'm going to serve it with some mesquites, which is like a street corn cut off the cob. Okay. So we have a little bit of mayo here. Not a lot. I don't like my uh, street corn overly mayoed, you know? I still want to taste the corn. Right. Then I'm going to add some cotija cheese and a little bit of cilantro. Freshen that up. We're just going to give this a nice mix. So this is our michelada butter. It's made with garlic, fresh serrano chilies, lime juice, our michelada mix that we make at San Pedro, and a little bit of beer, and then finished up with some butter. And I'm just gonna do a nice little pool of that right there in the middle. A Little bit of our esquites off to the side. And then you gotta finish it up with some pico de gallo. Get after it, my dude. I gotta try that. That butter sauce. It's intense, but it really lends itself to the fish. Oh, it's really neat. I mean, it it's really like adds to it. It's like lemon over it. Yeah, that's, that's a great way to describe it. Well, thank you, Chef Frank. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. This is a great dish. And uh, I know a lot of our viewers are gonna love coming in and get this. This looks really Yeah, good. man, it's a great time. So we're down here at San Pedro Fish Market, Long Beach, California. And we have Chef Frank with us. Did this beautiful dish for us. It's really, really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Let's go out. For tea. Gotta hold it closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what <a> dig? <laughs> oh god, I cheated. I cheated. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. I cheated. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Got one hooked up here fishing on the tiger fish. Need a gaff here. Catching them on the. There go another nice one. Fishing on the tiger fish. Out of Amberville. Oh. Woo! Double up with Dan Hernandez. Fun, fun. I'm tiger fish. Quality 
fish. So we're gonna do is keep fishing away here, see if we can get our limits of rockfish to go at the limits of link cod. And we'll keep going. There's another nice one there. Yeah, outside the Golden Gate, Caroline Island, with Dan Hernandez on the tiger fish. Here we go. Yeah. Fairlawn Islands, Sandra Hernandez, sport fishing. Boy, it's broke. It's broke. Hooked into a nice fish down here out by the Fairlawns. Fishing with Dan Hernandez. Yeah. Right. Fishing for Lincod out by the Fairlawns with Dan Hernandez. So this is my 35th year on TV. And over those 35 years, I've got to fish lots of different places. Alaska, Central America, down South America, you know, just everywhere. And coming up here from Southern California to fish Northern Cal, fish out of Emeryville, it's been one of those treats. You know, this is the type of rock fishing that we don't get to do down in Southern California. And the quality of the rock fish, the size of the Johnny Bass they get here, the, the number of lings they get here, it's just exceptional. It's stuff that we don't normally get to experience. And it's one of the reasons I love coming up here. If you guys have never ever experienced fishing like this or never experienced different types of fishing, you only fish 10 miles from home or 20 miles from home, it's really good to get to try something different. And uh, that's what we're doing here. And the whole experience of driving you know, you leave out of Amoryville, you go past Alcatraz, you go underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, and then you come out here to the Fairlawn Islands, and you get to do some quality rock fishing. It's just one of those experiences everybody should have. So I got some rock fish coming up right here. See the gear I'm using? It's light line gear. It's what I use for calico bass, yellowtail down Southern California. And up here, out of Emeryville, Fairlawn Islands, that's all the only gear you need. 50 to 65 pound spectra and 25 to 30 pound mono works fine for this type of fishing and if you're just going to fish a link cod then you can go with the heavier like 50 pounds i don't know what i got on here it's shaking the head a little bit no, it's a big salmon group or a little ling let's see what i got here <laughs> there's a link cod there you go. Got that on a little one ounce B-52 bucktail with the sand dab pinned on there. Okay, see that bucktail? And we're fishing aboard the tiger fish. Good job. <laughs> Having a great time fishing on the boat today. First time we filmed an episode up here on this boat. Having a great time. The crew's great. Just having lots of fun. We'll take a little break from the action here. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. <laughs> For this week's tip of the week, we have Captain Allen from the Tigerfish. He's kind of taking us out fishing today. And Captain, we had a great time fishing with you today. 
Can you give our viewers a good tip to help them out when they come fish up here? Sure. Yeah, we had great weather, great fishing this weekend, Dan. And it's like Southern Cal weather in Northern <laughs> California. So it was a great weekend. Uh, my big tip of the week for you guys today is to make sure it's a lot of work, but you gotta, 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 gotta reel it up and drop it down as often as you can. Keep the line straight. We recommend a, a, a six to one gear ratio reel with braided line on there and you drop it down and with the amount of current we've had the last couple days, it's real important you reel it up to the top, drop it down, fish for a couple minutes and get the gear back up and straighten out again. Um, you wanna keep the, the gear and the baits in the strike zone. And the longer you let it drift out there, it's just lifting up and scoping away from the boat. It's not down in the zone where you're gonna catch fish. That's, That's a I'd great tip. Yeah, and one other thing, like the captain just said earlier, this is the first time I fished in the Bay Area up here out of Emeryville, where I didn't have to wear a jacket. The weather was so nice. A couple of guys were even in short pants, it was great. But that's a great tip, Captain, thanks a lot. And remember guys, like he says, you know, check your lines often. When you're drifting like this, you wanna be up and down vertical. Great tip, and you, you guys have all the gear here if people don't have the right gear. We've always got everything on the boat for our customers. Yeah, so if you're from out of town, we have people on boat today from out of state, from Nevada, from Washington, you know, even guys from Southern California, if you don't have the right tackle, don't worry about it. Right here on the Tigerfish, you have everything you need. Well, on behalf of Captain Allen and myself, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Thanks, man. Thank you, Dan.